Hi, I'm Sam from Trude Archery, President and CEO, here to tell you about our Axle Axle vehicles we use to crisscross the country to promote our products, to display our products, to help get our products in people's hands, and to actually work on anybody else's products if necessary as well. We have two vehicles. We have a 2019 Transit Fan, which is set up very similar in, on the inside, and we'll show you that in a minute, as well as our ATC trailer, which we've had for a couple years now. So let's start with the trailer. Trailer again is a ATC trailer we built out especially for this particular application. Um, it's 26 feet long, 10,000 pounds, so it's a heavy trailer to pull. Uh, we have awnings on both sides because of course, as everybody knows, various different tournaments, you know, weather is not always beautiful. It's not like a day like today. And we had it fully wrapped. And then on the inside, as I said earlier, we've um, totally re revamped it to fit our needs. Um, we have on the inside three TVs, two satellites, uh, cell phone, uh, booster if necessary, and then 400 watts of power on the roof, 2,000 watt inverter, and then two yellow top AGM batteries. So we can be self-sufficient. We don't have to plug in if we need to. Uh, generally speaking, over time, it's nice to have a little extra power. There's two AC units on the roof, but of course they take a lot of power, so we have to plug in for those. Uh, We've done some, a little bit of adjustment here. We put a little plex glass out for the current situation. You know, down the road we may take it down, but we're kind of liking it in the sense when the air conditioner runs, it holds more cool air in on the other side. But we wanted to make it so that you could walk up to the window, you could pick up the products, you can get a feel for what they look like, you can compare them to what you had. And if you're not familiar with Shrewd at all, it gives you an opportunity to see what we do make. We probably produce more products for Bose than most other companies, so we have a wide variety of options right here for you to use on your riser. Pretty much anything goes on a bow, except for a few um, items we make ourselves here um, that could be used for you. The trailer itself, um, I've learned over time that you, you gotta put bigger and bigger tires on and bigger and bigger axles on, and we were the king of flat tires for many years, and we've kind of got that kind of figured out. I have um, air, pressure monitors and all the tires, which has really been a lifesaver in many ways. The back gate folds open. We do have a golf cart we use, so we have a golf cart that fits on the inside, because a lot of times when we pull this, we pull it with our RV, and so therefore we have no vehicle at all to drive around in. So our golf cart is our primary vehicle, and we've had a lot of fun going into town on that and driving around, and, and it works well at different tournaments as far as you know, just basic transportation. We have a marquee on top that does fold down. It lights up at night. It's on a timer. Um, as I say, we generally put awnings out front as well as our, our main rolling awning. When I say awnings, I mean canopies. Uh, again, it seems like most tournaments who go to at one point in time, there's going to be a day that's not going to be great as far as weather-wise. And so we try to protect the, the various people who are at the window, trying to keep them dry um, and make it a sort of a welcome you know, atmosphere for people to come up and, and utilize and look at our products. So inside the trailer, we've set this up with a workstation in the front half, also with products in our drawers here for our customers as well. And I try to carry a whole series of accessories and nuts and bolts and screws and anything that I could think of that we could utilize, you know, out in the field if somebody has a breakdown and needs something repaired real quickly whether it's our product or somebody else's product. At least we have the, uh, the tools and, and the means here to fix it. Um, toolbox is the way to go. We started out with shelves years ago. We replaced them with toolboxes. You can put a lot of product in it. It, it makes it so it rides nicely. It keeps it clean. Uh, there's, you know, obviously, there's a lot of dust in these places we go to. And this way, it, all our product here stays clean, just like it came out of the factory floor. Uh, we also, as we wrap around, we, we have our fairly good stock of, of uh, knock bushings back there, uh, cabinets up here that we utilize for storage, as, uh, both for our setup as display as well as products. And then our point of sale system works out real well. We made a point to put a point of sale system on both windows just to try to keep people moving along. No one likes to wait. And they're really nice because they're, they're iPads and yet you can just pick it up. It's all a visual product line. So you can just pick on pictures and then key it in. So if we do need help out here, other people can step up and they can look, help it out, help us out and they can look at this and they can understand how it works. <coughs> Excuse me. And then with the way things are going, you know, we put our credit card machines on the outside. We do have take Apple Pay. You can tap it and you can swipe it, whatever you want to do. We're just trying to make it really easy for the consumer to uh, purchase their products 
to work down this side of the trailer, we've got a series of drawers we've put in here to um, stock all the smaller items. We have, of course, these are all full. This is our disconnects around here. And then and as, you, as you go down, you've got your, your Atlas V bars, both single and double. And you, uh, everything comes in a clamshell. This, this is our Pivot, our, which is a new product we brought out this last year. And these toolboxes work really well for that purpose. As I say, keeping everything secure as it goes down the road. And also, there's a fair amount of product on this trailer, more than you realize. And it's, in some sense, I wish I had a bigger trailer. I mean, if I had to redo this trailer again, I'd probably make it another foot and a half taller, put another second shelves. This is all apparel up here. Second shelves, shelves of apparel. And then possibly even square the nose out just so that um, I have more workstation. Because we do spend, you know, if there's one or two people working up in the front doing stuff, assembling, you know, scopes or whatever it's necessary or, or mounting them on sites, um, you need a lot of kind of elbow room. And, it's, and sometimes it gets kind of crowded here, which is good. It's always fun to be busy and your days go by quickly because you end up spending probably 10 to 12 hours at least a day in these trailers. And just you, the day has gone by and you say, where have I been? You haven't been anywhere. You've just been here. You know, it's just sort of a constant move, which, which we enjoy. And, and we enjoy the people we work with. We enjoy the environment. And I'm kind of mechanically inclined, so I enjoy the challenge of of doing the repair work if necessary. If somebody comes with a riser that a bolt's broken, that's nothing to do with us, of course, but it's just broken, you know, it's kind of a, a game to see if we can get that bolt back out and get them back out in the range and, and get them competing again as quick as possible. Now on this side, again, whole series of toolboxes. Uh, you know, here's all our Optum scopes. Um, and then all the different product lines. And then we have drawers we built down here. This is actually a toolbox drawer. And this comes out like that, so you have all your different tools if necessary for your maintenance, that kind of thing. Um, this is all uh, lights, and then we have banners in there, and then we made even a special little cubby down here to um, wrap all our different displays and have a place to put them away where they get uh, out of the way and they're protected and they, they won't get damaged. All our stabilizers, we keep organized and, and we try to present them well. And it's amazing. I mean, you know, one set of stabilizers or one, one run, like a RevX, I mean, you've got, we have over 10 different lengths. And so it takes up a fair amount of space to stock all these. But we want to make sure we have an adequate supply of stabilizers for anybody uh, if they want to try them out or, or purchase them at those various tournaments. Uh, TVs we've set up here. We can actually, uh, depending on the tournament, if they're doing any live broadcasting or, or live scoring, depending on how they're set up, we can generally pick up their signal and then display it here. So if somebody's sitting in the tournament village and wants to see uh, what the scores are out in the field, you know, if possible, we, we try to broadcast them up here. If not, we run our own videos. Uh, again, I have satellite on this. I have actually two satellites on this. So we can pick up some other outdoor channel or something of interest for people to watch. Because we always get those people who are waiting for someone to come off the range and they want to they want to look at our products and yet they want to be entertained a little bit. And so there's another thing we kind of offer the general public is something a little fun. Uh, we have two TVs here, uh, which we utilize. That one's running the same program behind me. Um, and again, we can run our point of sale on those if we want to. Yeah. It's um, built in Napanese. Indiana, again, American-made, and we, we try to buy and, and utilize all American-made products the best we can. This trailer's worked out real well for us. As you see, it, we've outfitted it nicely. Um, it's used primarily for long haul across the country. So if we do have local tournaments or, or conflicts with what the schedule for the Axle, axle Tour on this trailer is, then we use our transit van. If you want to, let's go over our transit van, and we, I'll show you what the inside of that looks like. So the funny thing is, is we named this van Van Diesel just because everybody's used to uh, gas engines and we just didn't want anybody to put gas in this and be stranded in the road and we have another situation we had to deal with. So this is Van Diesel. Let me open it. Let me show you what's on the inside here. Set up similar to the trailer with um, Craftsman toolboxes. Uh, again, full of our product line here. And we've got Optums and and atlases and and everything that's basically in the catalog is in the trailer or excuse me in the van we also take our 10 by 10 or 10 by 20 canopy and set it up on the outside 
and then put our tables underneath that and expand whatever uh, we need to under that. So we can actually double the footprint of the van itself uh, with products and uh, places to uh, stay, which is somewhat under cover. This little counter right here we utilize as a checkout. We set up our cash register right on that. Uh, works out very well. And you get all sorts of good exercise just stepping up and down that step because that step's a little bigger than it looks. We have bunk beds on the inside. So if the crew takes this and, and it's overnight um, trip or a weekend somewhere you know, away, they can actually spend the night in here if necessary. It gives an option to stay here rather than stay in a hotel. We actually, we customize the whole thing and, and build it all out ourselves. So we put all fantastic fans in, put two in so you can suck air in one out, blow out the other so you can get a good circulation here even if you're, you know, it's a warm night, some night. Uh, put custom lighting in here to light up your workstations. Uh, set it up so we can carry stabilizers because again, there's a ton of stabilizers and you gotta keep them all separated. Put good Delrin tops on these things so you have plenty of work room work here to uh, you know, assemble your products, uh, do whatever is necessary. On the back side here, we have storage units for uh, various things such as our tablecloths, our canopies, uh, covers, or possibly our flags. Uh, whatever is necessary, it gives us an opportunity for you to put in here, keep it out of the way. And then back here, we have plenty of storage here again, four canopies for chairs, for director's chairs, for additional products that we could possibly need, you know, whether it comes in a box or how it does. And as these are, are, as I said earlier, are areas to put your stabilizer storage. Again, getting it off the floor, getting out of your way, getting it out from underneath your feet. We can also, underneath here, we can put plastic tubs in if we're necessary to add more product. So for a small footprint, this van actually can carry a tremendous amount of products. Um, and it's actually a fun van to drive too, so we've really enjoyed it. It's been a nice asset and a nice addition to our fleet. The goal of the Axle Axle Tour, both the trailer as well as the van, is to be at as many tournaments as possible, showcase our products, support our archers, and to help build the sport of archery. I hope to see you all at some tournament and please come by and say hello.